is one of the ultimate you paid for it sites in western New York, the huge Tesla plant along South Park in South Buffalo. Yeah, in exchange for hundreds of millions of dollars in taxpayer money, it was built on the promise of creating hundreds of good paying jobs. Channel 2's Ron Plants reports that state lawmakers are now watching very closely because the state is giving Tesla more time to reach those job goals. At a cost of over $700 million and millions more to equip it from New York State and us as taxpayers, the Tesla plant rose from the River Bend site in South Buffalo, but has that plant and its corporate owner, Elon Musk, risen to the commitment of creating over 1,400 good paying jobs in this area, primarily through solar roof panel production. There's been plenty of frustration among lawmakers who were thrilled when it was first announced. We're all been keeping our fingers crossed that this this all works and that we can become a solar hub in, in Buffalo, you know, with bringing a lot of manufacturing jobs here and hopefully spinoff. Um, but there's been, you know, stop and start and hiccup and you know, nothing seems to have gone smoothly. And Assembly Member Pat Burke says, quote, there have been issues and scandals surrounding this project from its inception, and New Yorkers are tired of it. I understand there's a pandemic, but we have to make sure that it isn't just the latest excuse for more broken promises. That reference to the pandemic relates to this statement from the state's Empire State Development Agency giving Tesla its requested extension for a deadline to meet that jobs commitment, quote, Empire State Development will extend the opportunity for business relief through the end of 2021 for any qualifying ESD partners who continue to demonstrate COVID-19 related economic hardship, including Tesla, which now has an approved extension. This extension continues to be available to all ESD partners that can demonstrate that due to COVID-19 related business interruptions, they are temporarily unable to meet their obligations to New York State. But after December, what could happen if they don't have those workers on staff? Would you and other lawmakers press for clawbacks here? Well, we have the clawback language, right? So if they don't hit their goals, and they're with their extensions, they're going to have to pay the state $41 million. Um, and, you know, we're going to hold them to it, uh, but we'd rather have a factory full of people working. Another report on current employment from Tesla is due by May 31st. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.